Hi, how you doing? Today we're going to talk about whether we should be using strength when we're grappling. We're also going to briefly talk about quite an exciting find to do with historical European wrestling, but that you're going to have to wait for. My recent video, Why Catch Wrestling is Doomed, has attracted quite a lot of debate, and I'm loving it, to be honest. There's quite a range there, and um, some of the points are definitely worth making videos of themselves. But one of the things that crops up is whether we should be using strength over technique. Technique can beat strength. We know that for a fact. You know, I, I don't think anyone's going to dispute that. But I also think that if technique is equal, then strength wins. And strength you can improve just as you can improve technique, so you should be getting stronger. However, I've not won any major tournaments, so let's get the opinion of somebody who is a little bit more successful than me. And that is George Hackenschmidt. I need the glasses, sorry, just very, very old. This is uh, George Hackenschmidt's book, The Complete Science of Wrestling. For those of you that don't know, Hackenschmidt was one of the great catch wrestlers of the early period. When catch was in its heyday, he was a man who was both a professional strongman and an incredibly successful wrestler, wrestling at the very top of the food chain. This is what he has to say on strength. But with all the possible practice and study, a wrestler has to rely to a large extent on strength, one of the most valuable qualities a wrestler can possess, but which only a wrestler here and there seems to develop in the right manner. Wrestlers need a particular kind of strength. They require all-round development, such as is sadly neglected in many departments. The neck, for instance. A man may be taken in numerous holds to which he must succumb unless he can rely on the strength, chiefly of his neck muscles, to enable him to ward off defeat. Wrestling practice, although it will strengthen the neck, will not, however, strengthen it sufficiently by itself. Special exercises are necessary for the purpose particularly in cases where a man is not singularly strong in that direction, and none can be found better for the purpose than the special exercises for the neck muscles set forth in my book, The Way to Live. Nice to see a little bit of self-promotion there. Um, Hackenschmidt made his living from this, and this book was published during his career, so you can understand why he'd want to maybe uh, sell his services and make a little bit of extra money. Nice to know it's not just us YouTubers. Uh, I'm not recommending the practice of these exercises simply because they are the ones I have followed myself, but because they have been most carefully tested by wrestlers and professional strongmen throughout the world and have been found unsurpassable. He goes on, he talks a lot about the different exercises, and maybe we'll look into that because that might make an interesting video. I'd like to get your thoughts. I mean, what do you think about strength when it comes to grappling? And I, I know that when you're, when you're training, say you go to your, your local BJJ club and you're training on a regular basis, there are people there of all shapes and sizes. There are men, there are women, there are older people, there are younger people, there are people who are athletically very skilled and very practiced, and there are people who are completely out of shape. So it always does feel a little bit, well, a little bit unfair to just smash someone because you happen to be bigger and stronger. Let me know what you think. Stick something in the comments. Let's have a chat. I promised that I'd tell you about the little find that I, I, I've come across, and, and I will. Um, this is Sir Thomas Parkin's book. Um, it's got a ridiculously long title. I won't go into. I won't read you the whole thing because it is utterly preposterous. But it's known as the In Play or Cornish Hug Wrestler. This is, for those of you that are new to the channel, I've spoken about this book quite a few times of late. This is the earliest um, wrestling source that's dedicated to wrestling, written in the English language. This is an original copy, a uh, second edition from 1727. And this teaches a style of wrestling that's very much different from what you'd expect. It's certainly nothing really like Cornish wrestling is today. It's much closer to Cumberland and Westmoreland, or, say, Scottish backhold, something like that. Uh, it's a fantastic book, um, absolutely brilliant. However... In it, it mentions some other books. It mentions a book of uh, wrestling postures that Parkins had commissioned. I've not managed to track that down, but in searching for that, I came across something very exciting. It turns out the University of Nottingham has in its collection 
a series of papers from the Parkins family that were gifted to the university. And in amongst those is a group of handwritten notes from Parkins himself talking about his book, Wrestling. I've managed to get hold of scans of those. The University Library have been incredibly accommodating, wonderful people. It seems that these are probably early drafts or, or notes for when he was writing the book. And interestingly, some of the sections are a little bit different. And there's some quite unusual bits in there. So I'm not going to go into any detail about that yet because I want to transcribe the whole thing so I can give it out and stick it on a, as a PDF that you can download. Um, I'm not allowed to show you those um, the images themselves because they're under copyright from the uh, from the university. I simply paid for personal use. I haven't paid for to be able to publicise those yet. If it turns out that they're worthwhile, then I will do that and I will will give them away to you guys. But for now, yeah, keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be stuff on Parkins coming out soon. Let me know what you think. Have you tried Parkins' system? Have you read his book? Does it make any sense? What do you think? Is it Cornish wrestling? Or there's a theory that it was taught to him by a Mr. Cornish. So, uh, yeah, we don't know, but it's certainly an interesting debate. Anyway, if you've made it this far in the video, great to have you here. And um, fight team! <laughs>